Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. In today's video, we will discuss the second law of thermodynamics. In our previous video, we have seen there are two statements for second law of thermodynamics. The first is Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics, and second is Kelvin Planck statement for second law of thermodynamics. In the previous video, we have studied the Clausius statement for second law of thermodynamics, and today we will study the Kelvin Planck statement for second law of thermodynamics. So let's get started. Kelvin Planck statement for second law of thermodynamics is as stated below. It is impossible to construct a device which operates on a cycle producing no other effect than extracting heat from a single reservoir and producing equivalent amount of work. Now let's try to understand this with an example. So explanation of Kelvin Planck statement. Let us say we have a high temperature reservoir which is also called as heat source and we have an engine. This heat source supplies QH amount of heat as an input to the engine and the engine produces output which is W that is work done and it is equal to amount of heat supplied that is QH. So as per Kelvin Planck statement it is impossible. Now if we have the same setup but there is a small change such that engine rejects a certain amount of heat which is let us say QL to another reservoir that is low temperature reservoir also called as heat sink such that the output produced by the engine is W equals to QH minus QL then it is possible. Now what does Kelvin Planck's statement give us? Kelvin Planck's statement gave us that the understanding no heat engine can give us 100% efficiency and it also gave us that no engine can work with a single reservoir and produce equivalent amount of work done. What first law limitations are removed by Kelvin Planck's statement for second law of thermodynamics. So this is the statement. It is impossible to construct a device which operates on a cycle producing no other effect than extracting heat from a single reservoir and producing equivalent amount of work. Out of this statement, extracting heat from a single reservoir, this is the condition we are talking about. This talks about the condition of working of a heat engine that it is not possible and producing equivalent amount of work talks about the proportion of work produced by the engine and it says it can never be 100%. So out of the three limitations of first law of thermodynamics, we have seen the three limitations where first law does not speak about the direction of conversion of heat into work. Second, it does not speak up regarding the condition under which heat and work are mutually convertible. And the third limitation was it does not speak what proportion of heat can be converted into work. Out of these three limitations, Kelvin Planck's statement talks about condition and proportion. So these two limitations are being removed by the Kelvin Planck statement for the second law of thermodynamics. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe my channel and stay connected. Thank you for watching this video.